Welcome back everyone, in this video I'll show you how to install Windows 10 or 11 on a USB drive so you can take it anywhere and run it on any computer whether it's a hotel, a friend's laptop or a shared PC you'll have all of your favorite apps and games with you plus the added security of using your own operating system without leaving any data or history behind let's get started now before we get started you'll need a USB drive with at least 16 GB of free space. We'll also need to download and install a free tool called Rufus to create our bootable USB drive and an ISO image of the operating system you want to install such as Windows 10 or Windows 11. Now let's go ahead and download the ISO for either Windows 10 or Windows 11 depending on which one you want to create a portable USB for. Since I'm using Windows 11, I'll be creating a portable Windows 10 USB. To do this, let's open your browser and search for Windows 10 ISO download. And let's click on the first link, which is the official Microsoft website. Now, when you scroll down, you will not be able to find a direct link to download the Windows 10 ISO. And that's because Microsoft wants you to download and run their ISO creation tool. Now the workaround is to use a Google Chrome browser. Let's open Google Chrome and go to the same link. Click on the three dots in the top right corner and hover over more tools. And click on developers tool. This will open the developer tools panel. Now click on the three dots again in the developer tool window, hover over more tools and select network conditions. At the bottom, you'll see the user agent option. Uncheck it. Then from the drop down menu, choose Chrome OS. And now when you refresh the page, you should now see the direct link for downloading the Windows 10 ISO. Click on the drop down menu and choose Windows 10 Multi Edition. Then click on Confirm. Next, select your product language and click on Confirm again. After that, choose whether you want to download the 32 bit or the 64 bit version based on your PCs. And the download will start. The file is around 6 GB. So just wait for it to complete. Once the ISO is downloaded, you can minimize it. And now we need to create a bootable USB drive using a free tool called Rufus. Let's open your browser again and open a new tab and let's search for Rufus and hit enter. Scroll down a bit and click on the Rufus portable version. So that way you don't need to install it on your computer. It's a small file, so it won't take time to download. Once completed, click on the downloaded file, then click yes, and the Rufus dashboard will appear. Now let's connect your USB drive that you want to use for the portable setup. I'm using a 64 gigabyte USB drive, so I'll connect it, and you should see it appear in the Rufus dashboard. If you are using an SSD or a hard drive and it doesn't show up, click on the show advanced drive properties, then check the option that says list USB hard drives. After checking this, when you click on the drop down again, you should see all the other drives connected to your computer. Let's select the correct USB drive that you want to use and below you'll see a boot selection. Here click on select and let's navigate to where you downloaded your Windows ISO and select the ISO file, then click open and then go to the image option and from the drop down menu, choose Windows to go. Next, Rufus will ask you to choose the partition scheme, either GPT or MBR. Now this depends on what your USB support. If you're not sure, let's right click on the Windows icon and select disk management find your USB drive and right click on it. Select properties in the top menu, click on volumes and here you'll see the partition style. For example, my USB uses master boot record or MBR. So I'll select MBR in the Rufus. 
If yours is GPT, then select GPT in the Rufus. You can change the volume label to something like Windows 10 Portable for easy identification. And finally, let's click on the start. Rufus then will ask you to select the version of the Windows you want to install. I'm going to select Windows 10 Pro and click on OK. Next, you'll see additional options. Let's go ahead and uncheck Prevent Windows to go from accessing internal disk. If you want to create a local account automatically, let's enter a username here. For example, I'll use Techwise. You can also disable data collection and set regional option to the same value as this users. Once you've set these options, let's click on OK. The process of creating your portable Windows USB has now started. So just wait until it's complete. Once it's done, you'll see that your Windows 10 portable USB is ready and the icon will change to reflect it's a portable USB. And you should be able to connect it now to any computer to start using the portable Windows setup. Now I'll connect the portable USB to a virtual machine just to show you how it works. I'm on a different Windows 11 machine and I will start the computer to boot from the portable USB. After restarting, tap the BIOS key on your keyboard to enter the BIOS mode. Once in BIOS, set the USB device as the boot priority and press enter. Now the BIOS key is different for every manufacturer. If you're not sure what's your BIOS key, just Google it for your PC's model. Now you can see that I'm using Windows 10 inside my Windows 11 environment without affecting any of my data. Additionally, since this is a portable Windows 10 USB, install any apps or games you like and use it just as you would on your regular computer. Now, just to show you, I'm going to create three folders and I'm going to name them test one, test two, and test three. Also, I'm going to install two applications, Revo Uninstaller and Google Chrome Browser. Now we have both applications installed and the three folder created under the documents folder. Now I'll shut down the computer, unplug the USB. After that, I'll plug it back in and restart the computer. Now I'm going to boot from the USB device again, and this will show if the data and the apps I install remains on the portable operating system. And now you can see that it has booted up quickly as expected. The next time you boot, it will be plug and play. You can also see that all the applications I installed like Google Chrome and the Revo installer are still there. If I open the file explorer and go to the document folder, you could also see the three folders I created are there. None of the data has been deleted. If you unplug this USB and connect it to another device, you can store important data or install any application and everything will be saved on that portable USB. This means that when you are traveling and don't have access to your own computer, you can connect this USB to any other computer and start using it right away. And that's all I wanted to show you in this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing for more content like this. Bye for now.